Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Refugee to Industrial Regent. Uh, off camera, I've been clearing out this area here, uh, trying to both light it up, as you can see in the night mode, and to clear out all the trees, which you should see a little bit better, not much better, but a little bit better in the day mode. Um, but I've run into a bit of a problem. See, my barrel of jungle wood is full. And my barrel of oak wood is not much less full. And not only do I have more than two stacks of jungle wood left, but if I look at the map again, let me go outside so I can look at the map a little bit more cleanly. This area here uh, to the east is all jungle, which means a lot of jungle wood yet to harvest. And this area to the north is a biome that has a lot of giant oak wood trees that are going to give me a lot of oak wood. Suffice it to say, the space left in, that, in those barrels will not be sufficient. And so it is time to upgrade the barrels. So, I'm going to go ahead and, actually, did I grab the, no, I did not yet grab the fences. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's go 16 fences. Alright, now I'm going to make my way over here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab myself 8 jungle wood. Split it up like so with fences in the corners gives me this structural upgrade, Mark 1. And now I should be able to upgrade these barrels. And as you can see, they've had some structural upgrades. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab myself 8 iron. And I'm going to follow suit except replacing the wood with the iron. I get the fences up. There we go. Eat a baked potato. Now, first off, I'm going to try to upgrade this dirt barrel. Now, as you can see, it won't work because I haven't yet given it the Mark 1 upgrade. But if I take these two barrels, they will upgrade. So, we now have three upgrade slots in each of these barrels. So now what I'm going to do is make this times three storage upgrade. And that's actually pretty simple. I need these times one storage upgrades. And I need two of these, one for each of those barrels. So six of these uh First level storage upgrades, which means 12 pistons and 6 barrels. I think I have the 6 barrels. I do. Now, let me think. 12 of those. 12 of those. I might as well go ahead and grab a stack of cobblestone. And yes, this is a rule of cool allowing me to do this. I don't believe it is uh, legal in the conventional sense. There we go. But now there is my wood. And now the cobblestone in the bottom. Now pistons on either side of the barrels gives me these storage upgrades. And now for the times three storage upgrades. Now, what I can do is go ahead and put one of those in each of those. And now, you can see that each of these now has a maximum capacity of 256 stacks. This is an improvement over the 64 I had before. And, and I'm not averse to making other upgrades uh, to other barrels off camera as the need arises. Um... 
But for right now, those two barrels are really all I need to upgrade at the moment. And that completes the first project in what will likely be a somewhat random episode of Smaller Projects. I shall return once I figure out my next random project. Alright, random project number two for this episode. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself 12 iron. I do need to mine for some iron uh, off camera. Probably before the next episode. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and grab myself 8 stone, having grabbed myself 12 iron and a piece of redstone. Uh, let's hope I have the recipe for the compass right. I do good. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself one compass and a stack of these factory blocks. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't... I mean, given that they're from the chisel mod, I wonder what the chisel will do to them. Ooh, I've got more than a few options. Uh, let's see here. Plates, yellow black hazard, wireframe, metal plate with almost no rust on it. You know what, let's try that on for size. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this compass to sort out where the original spawn is. Because I know it's in this jungle biome somewhere, and it's actually looking like it might be in the part I just cleared out. In fact... Okay. A little bit further. All right, let's go ahead and face. Would it be around here then? Or is it over there? It's over this way, isn't it? fact, go this way, yep, it's right here, alright, uh, alright, it occurs to me that I didn't exactly uh, bring any sort of good cobblestone, for this. <sighs> I also will likely want to, uh, well, I can at least use dirt as a filler for the time being. I'll have to remember to relight this area. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so it's right in here. That's my original spawn point. Alright. Should probably replace this with a shovel. There we go. Now. Let me think. I should be a nice 5x5. Five I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of these corners here. Alright. Go ahead and place these factory blocks. Go ahead and get rid of that one. That's misplaced. Go ahead and eat up the last baked potato I have on hand. Go ahead and fill in the center. Yeah, let's see here. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, want to go ahead and do that like so. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. 
it might be a touch easier at least for part of this like to get to do this like so from the bottom rather than trying to do it from the top there we go all right let's go ahead and do that like so go ahead and finish off these corners go ahead and put a pair of torches up there I'll have to remember to connect this to the road network I just realized this is the peninsula I was going to do something a bit different with but oh well I'll have to figure something out later probably uh, let's get me out of here Yeah, this will work. Yeah, just do that like so. Replace the sh uh, pickaxe with the iron shovel that I need for the moment. Yeah. How about I go ahead and take care of that. Still got a way up, thanks to the vines. Yeah. Now all I need to do is get up uh, to the roof of this here and go ahead and put that on top and now I have a nice marker for the spawn point and that way if anything happens that requires me to respawn here or if uh, say there is a problem with my cameraman who does not have a spawn point inside Byzantium at the moment there's a safe place for there's a safe place for spawning. I shall return once I figure out my next project. I think I might get one, maybe two more projects finished this episode. I shall return. All right, I am back, and it is time for project number three for this episode, which is road building with assistance from excavator. Uh. Wrap and a hammer. A little bit less from the hammer than from the excavator, but both have their uses. All right, and at this point, I'm just going ahead and digging out. Actually, I think a torch there would do the job. Go ahead and dig up that stair to get it out of the way. So there we go. All right. And now let's get rid of these two here in the center. Yeah. And then the edge of the road. Or edges, I should say. All right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and dig that out just a touch. Now I can go ahead and dig this sector out here, this side of the road. Place the edges. Let's see, I need to place two torches here and here. Yep. Make sure I don't misplace blocks. There we go, like so, and the middle of the road is coming along quite nicely. I can even extend it out this way as far as I've excavated it. Uh, it would help if I hadn't misplaced that block, or that one for that matter. Go ahead and put the edge there. Now I can go ahead and excavate the rest of this. Actually, I might be better served doing that. Yeah. There we go. And that, what I did earlier just ensures that I have both the uh, pickaxe and the shovel on the hotbar. 
but I suspect I will need both tools. All right. Now let's go ahead and dig this out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And dig away the ceiling so that I don't have to worry about uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, right. Having to support a tunnel. Because it's not meant to be a tunnel. It's a simple roadway. Not a tunnel. All right. Now that side's done. So go ahead and place the middle. Now I can go, I think, 13 blocks further. Right, so that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Now I can go ahead and place the steps on that side. But I've got a little bit of digging yet to do on this side. Now I can dig out the ceiling of this here and that side of the ceiling. There we go. Go ahead and lay down steps. Ooh. I had six left, eh? All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and lay this down. And six means that I can extend this three. All right. Like so. And like so. All right. Now I can dig that up. And that and that. Ooh. Interesting. Not quite enough uh, cobblestone slabs. Now I can finish this bit, this road up off camera. Uh, but first, let me check to make sure that I have, first off, a clean ceiling, and secondly, uh, enough light along the road. Now, I will have some work to do to clear back the terrain a bit. Um, and incidentally, the road's actually going to continue on to about, it looks like here's about as far as I could feasibly go, unless I jog it up that way, which I'm not able to do at this time because the area on the other side of that wall is not yet safe. Uh, I do have a fourth project for this episode of mine that's going to involve this bit of shoreline here. I shall return once I'm ready to start it. All right. It is time for the fourth and final project of this episode. Uh, I've given some consideration to the general layout of the southern uh, section of Byzantium that I've got sorted out. I still have some work to do in this northeastern quadrant here to actually fully incorporate it into the city. Never mind the construction of that wall there, which is probably an off-camera job. Um, but this area here is, I think, a pretty good place for a harbor. Yes, I know I have that dock there for the river. It's not a bad river dock, but as far as big ocean travel goes, I'm going to want something a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down my spruce logs here. There we go. Now, let me see. I have the wool that I'm going to use for this. Uh, but let me think here. I think I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that spruce. Yes, yeah, spruce logs there. 
So now you can go ahead and place the slabs, 9 and 10. Go ahead and build this up 3 high. And make sure I'm lit up pretty well. All right. So now, let me think. Yeah. That's going to work pretty well. And then, let's see. I could actually go ahead and set this up like so. Yeah. Clear this out a little bit. Yeah, something like that will work. But I'll go ahead and only take care of this intersection here. Is that good? Mm. Yeah, I'll call that good, I think, for now. Yeah, there we go. And then I can go ahead and place the oak wood planks there to sort of finish that off yeah and then go ahead and planks in the interior I'll leave that one gap open there so that I have a sense of what I'm doing let's get rid of this here and like so Yeah. All right. Now I want one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. I can get rid of that torch now, and we are well lit. Let me eat uh, another chick piece of chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I want to make sure I'm in the right... Well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, let's see if I... Excellent. I'm in exactly the right place. So, go ahead and lay down my torches. And then the next set of wool... Ten wool. Yep. Might as well go ahead and take care of these flowers. Uh, with any luck, they went into the forester's backpack. All right. So go ahead and lay down my torches. And then I will go ahead and lay down... Oh, crud. Of course, I had to misplace all four of those. Alright. 4, 23, 2, 21, 20. Alright. There we go. Go ahead and place the diagonal. Well, that's interesting. Actually, no, wait, that's okay. That's fine. That, yeah, sorry, I, I got a little bit lost there, but that is, in fact, what I want. So go ahead and lay down the rest of this floor here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like so. And then, let's, yeah, I'll leave that outer path for a little bit later. Um, and I have to remember to build a seawall in behind it. But that shouldn't be too big a deal. Alright. And honestly, I think I'm, 
I've got enough resources for two more of these pads. Um, I think I will take care of them off camera, uh, in addition to the seawall and the uh, rest of the lighting of the northeastern district of Byzantium. Uh, I will see you next time, everybody.